to Roselock, a series where I play Pokemon ROM hacks on Nuzlocke settings. Most of the rules are down below, some I still tell you on the go, otherwise eventually they'll be all added together, and then you'll know what is considered to be the stupidest Nuzlocke you could ever attempt, a Roselock. As always, I'm your host, Ori Moon Rose, and today we'll continue the fifth attempt at what is considered the hottest Pokemon ROM hack to Nuzlocke Pokemon Dog Variety. So last time, we got Clover and Flipper up a level, we actually defeated Max, I believe that was last episode. And today we're going to try to get Vapor and Artemis! Thankfully, most of them are grass, so this is going to help amazingly, even if we are in the rain. Alright. So, yeah, you're a bug, so I, I am going to start with Flamethrower. Like, why would I not? Whoa! You're grass. And steel. You're getting a flamethrower too, my boy. See, this is the kind of battles I want to have. Get through it really fast. But sometimes it is not a no-go. I mean, I'm gonna body slam because you're a C dot. Yeah, I was like, I think I know where you go now. Maybe I've been wrong, but maybe I've been not. Okay, Krogun definitely gets a, uh, a body slam. Does he get a body slam? Can he take a body slam? I, uh, no, I don't trust him with counter. I take that back. Ducklet, you definitely get a body slam. Until you prove me wrong. Which he did not. Which I did not expect. Oh, Skorupi! I think you're bugged. So I think this works. I don't know if a palm gets a body slam or not. He does, yay. What's that body slam? I thought so. Yes. 
bad. gets a flamethrower though. No ends ifs or buts about that crap. We're gonna run out of those body slams. Really fast. Which again is pretty fine, but still. And I think flamethrower is definitely over. He can still kill everything with one hit now, but I'd rather not if I don't have to. But it's starting to happen. I'll take a bunch of 300s any day. 502 of Yadma will show back up. Pine Cove. You know, I don't think explosion would kill me, but I don't. Well, that failed. And now that, that failed. Body slam, way too many of those, honestly, but it is what it is. Goodness gracious, though, what is gonna happen when I have like a whole box for a Pokemon? We have to gain each of them a level. It's gonna be like a week and a half of the show just trying to. Losing some Pokemon ain't always a bad thing. But I'd rather still lose it not. But all possible. Hi, Krogunk. I definitely don't uh, want you now. Not doing bad. I'm good with these two levels. Need to be able to continue within a few days. this slam. Get his 
everywhere today, aren't you, low tad? Body slams. It's not like it's gonna put us too far behind. And if for some reason flamethrower doesn't kill something, I'll just go back and kill quickly. I mean, we're in a good boat right now at almost 12 minutes for this level. Probably 13 from the feel of it. Maybe at 15. But either way, I mean, it's not like we're gonna go super over. Even flamethrower's starting to get a little weak. Will Swift kill Lotad? 
Let's find out. Well, okay, of course it will when it's in print. I mean, it's not going too bad, not with this stuff. Oh yeah, because you're poison, aren't ya? Woof! Okay, so like I asked, will Swift kill a low tag? Yes, it will! Nice! Betting it will also kill a Cena, which ironically we just ran into. It can nice. I don't remember. I guess we'll find out. It's not very effective. I was like, we should probably stick to Psychic, but, uh... Pharaoh Seed got Pharaoh murdered. So, I'm, I'm not even too concerned. Definitely work on you, mister. Well, this is kind of Artemis' area too, isn't it? I do think once we get everybody up to 50, though, unless there's another area, which I don't know anymore, because the map somehow changed. Uh... We should be able to make it to the next route. Hmm. I wonder if Swift can kill a Duke Let's find out. So next time we're gonna do a duck, I want to try Shadow Ball. See how that one I knew that one would work. Yeah, 
Yes, on Tybee. Get that, buddy. <laughs> oh, Kroga, you're both poison, I think, and fighting. I at least know fighting. So this is like doubly effective on you. Right, Duckling got defeated last, or didn't get defeated last time, so let's Shadow Ball! Hey, Shadow Ball works! Nice. Swift should be able to kill a mud kip, right? Well, that one went interesting. I think Shroomish is grass and poison, but I could be wrong. But we're gonna just try Swift and see what happens. Okay, good. Shadow Ball, the ever living crap out of him. We'll feather him with Shadow Ball. Artemis grew to level 50. 4, 1, 1, 3, 2, 1. Alright, awesome. Its attack is. <laughs> its speed isn't even that great either. We made it right about at the 24 minute mark. So, I'm, uh, gonna call it good? So, it looks like next time, we'll gain Muffin and Martha their levels. God, I don't even want to go back to Martha. And then we'll do the three that are left inside, right? I think there's three. Yep. So, I'd say within two or three episodes, we'll be able to move on. Wait for that. See what else this new world has to offer? Alright, but we will go ahead and leave it here for this episode. So, until then, remember, keep gaming, never give up. And I am petrified to do Martha again. At least he's strong enough to take out a lot of things, I suppose.